What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Like most of you guys out there, I'm also on lockdown and haven't been able to get a haircut. So uh, I try to do it myself and that's why I'm wearing a hat. So the quarantine got to me again. I ended up ordering something else off Amazon. So today we're gonna be checking out, unboxing and installing the Razer Naga Trinity. All right, so let's see what comes inside. All right, nothing else in there. For gamers, by gamers. Almost kind of reminds me of, uh, what was it, FUBU, For Us, By Us. A little throwback there. This thing, oh my God, no, no, no. I caught it, we're good, caught it. This thing looks beautiful. Now, one of the reasons um, I wanted to upgrade the mouse that I currently have is probably from like 2012 or so. It's a very old, it's a Razer Naga, but a very older model. Um, it only has blue, it's not RGB. This one's gonna be RGB so I can kind of control it, have it match the keyboard and the mouse pad. These are the other side plates you can put on there, as you can see, which I'm not gonna be using those. I'm mostly going to be using this one here that's already on it. I'm already used to this uh, from my current mouse, so I like all these additional buttons. It makes every game easier just to kind of use side clicks instead of having to reach over and do stuff with your fingers. Here's a little look at my old one. So this is the older Razer Naga. It's only blue. I mean, it still works fine, but I had to upgrade, it's been a while. So let's go ahead and plug this in, see how it looks. All right, so I just went ahead and plugged it in. Look at that. That is beautiful. So as you can see, new update. Oh, forgot the best part. Yeah. Let's uh, go ahead and update everything. Right off the bat, I can already tell my hand fits better on this mouse than that other one. It's This one's a little bigger, but your hand just sits on it naturally. Like, it just feels a lot better. Like, I have a lot more control over it. So, that's one thing I initially noticed. So, here are some of the specs. It's 16,000 DPI. You have the interchangeable side place that I showed you earlier, up to 19 programmable buttons. That's a lot of buttons. And it just has the chroma, the RGB that you can kind of control, so. All right, so here we are, here's the mouse. We can go ahead and click this, and it looks like it automatically detected what side plate we have on. Um, or not, or you can, I guess you can modify each one here. But this is the one we're working with. This one here, it's checked off. Uh, let's see the lighting here. So here's the lighting. You change the brightness as you can see. Uh, well, that's all the way off. You can kind of turn it up a little at a time. I'm gonna go full 100 send. I'm just gonna keep it static for now. It's a blue to go with the rest of the theme. So here are some of your settings that you can change around to control what you want each button to do. Um, here, it looks like it's already set to stage two, about 1800 DPI, which is uh, pretty close. I think my old one I had at 2000, so we'll leave it how it is. Um, number of stages, so you can definitely customize this and have different profiles set for maybe different games that you want or whatever. Yeah, that's it. The lighting we went through, I mean, there's different kind of effects, advanced effects. Um, breathing, all this fun stuff. Advanced effects, this is more for like having it go with games. A certain game you're playing, it'll kind of just change colors to that. You go to Chroma Studio and set all that up. Let's add a surface. So the one I have is the Goliath, Goliathus Chroma. That's the one I currently have, so we're gonna calibrate it. Another thing I noticed is this scroll wheel. It kind of automatically stops each time pretty good. My other one would just kind of like scroll however it felt like. This feels like more controlled, which is pretty cool. So one thing I already noticed, these right here, there's two buttons right there, and they're to change your DPI. So if I hit the top one, you'll see it change the DPI automatically, and it'll kind of alert you right here too, to which one you're setting it to. So I'll leave it at 1800 for now, but you can manually just do that with these two buttons while you're playing. So overall, I'm glad I actually bought the mouse. At first, when I was using my mouse, I mean, I felt like nothing was wrong with it. Um, it was fine, but I felt like I just needed to upgrade it, so I decided to go with a better version of the one I already had, and 
just feeling this already I'm glad that I made this decision I mean just holding it it feels better in the hand the scroll wheel feels better um, it just feels like an overall better product that was just an outdated mouse even though it was still fine it works great it's just time to upgrade now I'll leave the link in the description down below of where I got this uh, it is an Amazon affiliate link so you do get a little bit of a kickback if you guys use that link it costs you nothing additional um, it's just a way to support the creators well guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys on the next one thanks